Hey guys, it's Karen Mara. Welcome to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be talking about get response email marketing, specifically how to set up an autoresponder series. This is if someone opts into your lead capture page, then they get these automatic email messages that are sent out daily. But this is if before we get into that, if this is your first time to the channel, welcome. This channel is all about affiliate marketing, how to make money online, how to make money from home. And I do a lot of product reviews on this channel as well, just to let you make an informed buying decision. If those are topics that you want to learn more about, make sure you click the subscribe button and the bell icon. That way you can be notified when I upload new videos each and every day. With that being said, let's go ahead and get into the get response email marketing. When you log into your get response in the left hand corner here, you'll see all these dots. You want to click on autoresponders. And then you'll pick on the left hand side here which list you want to add it to. So I'm going to go ahead and add one to my lit autoresponder series here. So you'll just click on the right hand side here where it says create autoresponder. Now your first one will be day zero and each one after that will be one more day. So the first day would be day zero, the second day would be day one. Because the first one you want to go out automatically so that would be day zero. So this one I'm going to add it's day five and I'm going to pick since I have more than one list pick the list here and then we're going to click on create email and I like to I'll just name this um, I name the message the same thing as the subject so I'm going to use this is my subject line And I'm going to put in a little emoji here because I think that helps to draw people's attention to it. Because you people get a lot of emails in their inbox, so this can kind of stand out a little bit. Okay, so I'll put the same thing there. And then just click on Next Step. And I like to put just start from scratch. So just click on start from scratch in the left hand corner and then blank template is what I like to use. And then you're going to just drag and drop the text box and I like to put an image below it. So we're just going to take out all this. I'm going to use um, an email broadcast that I sent out to add to my follow-up series. <clears throat> so we'll just put this in here. Now here you can personalize it. So you would click on this little person down here, put in the first name there. And then we're just gonna put in where I need the hyperlinks. So Facebook post is gonna be this right here. So you'll just highlight that where you want the link to go to and then click on the link down here. Put your URL in there. And the next one's going to be webinar. Oops, I forgot to link that. And then we're going to put in the letter. here Okay, let's just change it up. And then I'm going to put my Facebook link here. Let's see what else. Um, my story. I just put a link to my 
YouTube video where people can kind of get to know me a little bit more so they know I'm a real person. I'm not just trying to sell them something, but I actually um, show some of my results on, on my story here. So that's basically it. You'll put in everything you want to hyperlink to, and then you'll copy and paste this and put it in. This helps with deliverability or somebody doesn't get the HTML message. So then you just want to put your raw, link, raw links in beneath where it's supposed to go since you can't hyperlink it in here. So we just put these all in here. Story. Okay, and then just close this out. I'm also going to put my image down here. So to put a picture in, you just click on the image there and then pick what you want from here. If you don't have one in there already, just upload it from your computer and then it will show up in here. So I'm just going to put this one in there. And then you can see what your spam score is here. Send a test message to yourself to check out to make sure you have all the links correct in here. And then after that, you'll just click on Next Step, which is the lower right-hand corner here. And then you'll just put in the autoresponder name, which I'm just going to have be the subject line here. And then it's going to be day five because this is already had some in there. Make sure you got in the right list, and you'll make sure all these are they're automatically checked that it'll go out any any day. And then if you need to edit it, you think, oh, I need to go back and change something. You can edit it here, and then basically you're just going to click on save and publish. And then it's going to ask you if you want to send that to your subscribers. You know, if you don't want them to be sent like right away, just click don't send. Otherwise, it'll get just stored in your autoresponder series. Or if you want to send it to them now, which I'm going to do. Okay, so you'll see that that was uh, the fifth one right here just been added to my autoresponder series so I have six of them in here now. So that's basically it. It's really easy to do. Um, I did do another video on how to send out a broadcast. I will leave that in the description below this video so you know how to not only add the autoresponder series in your GetMail, GetResponse email marketing, but also how to send out a broadcast. So if you guys found value in this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up, give me a like. Also, if you want to learn my number one recommendation for making money online as well as offline and some incredible bonuses, go ahead and click the first two links in the description below this video and check them out if you'd like. With that being said, this is Karen Merrill signing off and I'll see you guys in the next video.